Okay, and the game is, so, that, so these are cookies, that one's poison, so you don't want to eat that one. Uh, and so, so, you, so two people alternate. One person takes a cookie, like maybe chooses a cookie, and then eats all the cookies that are, that are up, or, up and to the right. The other person finds a cookie, eats it, and then you just alternate and alternate, and at some point, someone eats the poison cookie and dies. So the goal is not to die. Okay, so the question then is, I, I will convince you, so you've already agreed, I think, that one of the players has a winning strategy because you just sort of imagined all the games you could possibly play. And at the end of the game, when there's one cookie, that person's guaranteed to lose. And the other place... I already see a way to win. Great. Ah, what's that? You just go like this. Ah, okay. And then eat all these. Then I will go... Let's see if I buy that. Um... Or no, then you just go here. You need to go here, take that. And then... No, but then I think you're going to... Then you're still going to be able to win. How? Uh, I'll tell you how I know without knowing how you're going to win. Yeah, right, so I'm going to convince oh, you. Oh, yeah. So here's here's the deal. So if you have a big... and I mean, let's have a really big board. So, so like maybe it's going to be... Yeah, it's so big there's like 17 this way and 34 that way. And, so, and I, I can convince you the first player can win. Yeah. And here's, here's how. The, maybe the first player's win is taking that one, right? And it, maybe that's right or wrong. If it's right, then he's, then he's going to win. But if he's wrong, that means he's going to lose. And that means the second player can beat him by taking some other cookie. But then the first player should have just taken that cookie to begin with. So the first player can't... So the first player, if he really knew the winning, there is a, if there, since there's a winning strategy, the first player has to have the winning strategy because he can all otherwise steal the strategy of the second player. And then, there's, and then there's another version of it which is really. I don't buy that the first player always wins. Uh, well, playing perfectly always wins. Mm, still don't buy that. Okay, why not? Because if there's only one cookie. Ah, good. That's right. It has to like, be, you have to has to be at least one cookie. I mean, at least two cookies, basically. And okay. that's your rectangle. Then you're right. One cookie, the first player loses. Otherwise, the first player wins. But I have no idea what the strategy is in general. So here, you take this cookie. That. Ah, that's perfect. Oh, no, that's bad. Because then I will take this cookie. Oh, yeah. Right. So then... Then you take this cookie. Then I will take that cookie. Then I'll take these cookies. Well, but if I take this cookie, I'm getting all of those. So oh. Have... Okay. So I still don't know the winning strategy, but I'm successfully figuring out why yours are not. Then you to take this. Okay, let's find out. Uh, okay, let me uh, start that again and just redo your... So, okay, so there's the bad one, and you said... Take this. Okay, so, and then what will I do? I'm not going to take... Oh, I see what you do. You take this. I'm going to take this one. And if I take that one, then you'll take that one, and I'll die. So now it's your turn. Okay. This is my only... If I take this, mm -hmm. then you'll take this... No, I won't. Take no, that. then you'll take these, all three of these. And then I'll have to take this. And then I'll, but then I'll die. So if you take this, okay. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll take that one. Okay, so I don't take that. I have to take. Now you're cooked. If I take this. Oh no, these are all gone. Okay. All those are eaten. Yeah. But on the turn before that. Yep. On this turn. Mm -hmm. If I take this, then you'll take these, and then I'll die. If I take this, then I'll die. If I take this, then you'll take these, and I'll die. If I take this, then... Then I'll take that, and you'll die. Yeah, if I... So I have to... This would be my That's only That's the only possibility, and I'll see if I can... That will... Ah, you may have gotten me then. I think then you would win. Yep, no. 
No, no, I think you're gonna win. Like, what do you think? I, how, how do you think I would win? Well, I guess your only move would be to go here. There. Yeah. But then you will go there. Yeah. And then I might go here. They'll go there, and I die. Okay, but then here, okay, so here's a friendlier version of it, which leads to a different problem. You do the fast. Okay, so now, now when you're playing with a friend, you don't want to die, and you don't want your friend to die. So you might hope to do that is you're gonna, we're going to play infinite chomp. So you have infinitely many cookies. And now you want to just start playing. And the statement, and you might think then that you could just keep eating cookies forever and never die. But in fact, you're guaranteed to die. Someone's going to die. Yeah, Even eventually. Even the other. It just takes infinite time. No, it's going to be even finite time. There's no way to stay alive in finite there's, there's no way to, st you're guaranteed to die in finite time. So that, that's, a good, that's another, that's... Even if there are infinite cookies. Yeah. Because what happens, like, imagine you start off by eating this cookie, and then everything like that. And then someone eats this cookie, and then you eat this cookie, and then that cookie, and then gradually, eventually, bit by bit, suddenly you're, you're, for, you're in the... the no, but infinite goes on forever. Yeah, but, but the, I guess the state, but whenever you eat this cookie, you're, you, you eat all, the, all those infinite cookies. And so even though it goes on forever, you're going to be forced to, in a finite amount of time, make an infinite Oh, amount. I get that. Because you have to pick a finite cookie. Exactly. And that's gonna, and then you're forced to eat all an infinite number. Okay, I get that. Because you can't go infinitely to the end and eat that cookie. Exactly. There's no, there's no end to go to. And because there isn't, then you're going to have to... And then, and then the last version of it is, well, actually, the last version is kind of an easier version. Here's an infinite version where you're not playing with a friend. So you have all these cookies. And the first player can always win because you just take that cookie. And uh, I'll eat all those. And now anything you do, you're going to be guaranteed to lose. Because if you take a cookie up here, I'll take the corresponding cookie here. You take a cookie here, I'll take a corresponding cookie there. You take a cookie here, I'll take a corresponding one here. So I'm never going to lose because I'm just copying you. And someone's going to lose, so it's got to be you. So the last person's going to. So you're, that means I know for sure you're the one who's going to eat the poison cookie. Okay, so first player always wins. In this case, yep. If they know to eat that one thing and they know how to play. In any case. Yeah. Uh, you could do something dumb. Like you could eat this cookie instead, and then the first person could eat the wrong cookie. And the second person can then eat that. So the yeah, first place you could first person it's like could lose if they had a death wish. Yeah, you go here. Yep. You take this. But and then the second player can go here. Ah, no. And right. then he wins. Yep. But if you go here, then that's what happens. So what I'm saying is that the way the argument goes is let me switch colors that that's the one you should try. And then if this then you then you see if the second then either you're going to win uh, or the second player will have a better move. So that's why, that, so, so that the argument only works by saying that's either the winning first move or it's not. And if it is a winning first move, then it's a winning first move. If it's not a winning first move, then, you're, then your opponent... There is a winning first there move. There is, exactly. And whatever it is, you should have just done that to begin with. So it's only because your first move is kind of subsumed by the second move. And then there's a, uh, let me say one last thing, because this is a different flavor. And this is probably also, uh, uh, it must be in winning ways, this must be where I saw it. It's like you have a, you have a table, a rectangular table, and you're placing quarters on it. Uh, uh, you, so you alternate placing quarters, and the person who, and the, uh, the first person who can't place a quarter without falling off loses. And so the first player is guaranteed to win, and I can even tell you what the strategy is. So here's the strategy. The first person plays a quarter right exactly in the center. And then the second player, whatever they do, the first player does the di di exact di diametrically opposite. And it's, since the, first, the second player can go there, the first player could have done that. There's never any problem. You just keep on going, and the first player can never lose, right? Because he's always copying the second player. And someone's got to lose, so at some point the second player's going to lose. But that, 
assumes that you can't place on top of. Yeah, that's right. I, I should have said you're not allowed to place on top of anything else. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and that it assumes, assumes you're that perfect. Yeah, perfect coordination and you can place everything absolutely perfectly. Okay. Right? Yeah, so that's another example. I, actually, in that case, you know what the winning strategy is. But it's like, uh, I don't know who had that idea, but it's a, uh, you first had that idea. But it's a great, it's a great idea because then once you see it, you can't unsee it. You buy it? No. The, the good thing is you could try it. You can, uh, <laughs> You could try it with Well, I mean, I buy it, but there's a way around it, I think. Uh, only if you define things the right way. If you define things the right way, there's no way around it. Are you allowed to put quarters on top of your own? No. So you've got to always place them flat on the table, and at some point... Oh, flat fall. on the table? Yes, you can't... Dang. Yeah, not like... Uh, no. Okay. Then I buy it. <laughs>